They're actually really, really good experiences. Actually, can be quite enjoyable. They can be challenging, but you, you expect that. Um, so we get together a group of people from across the business. So you'll have reputation from the front line, credit, finance. Um, we'll present our proposal. We talk through the details of the transaction, why we want to do it, why we want to support the deal. Um, we get asked a whole load of questions. Some of them are simple, some of them are a bit curveball, but I think the overriding feeling at a credit committee is that everybody around the table wants to find a way of doing that deal. Um, and they can actually be, be very rewarding experiences. Um, everybody's bought into the fact that we're on a growth trajectory. We've got to win new clients. And you know, to do that, we've got to write business. We've got to do, we've got to do deals. So the overriding um, feeling at credit committee is you know, one of trying to find a solution, which is fantastic. So usually questions are around price, leverage, but you know, more so really about timescales, certainty of delivery, some of the details in the transactions as well, you know, such as you know, how, what our approach is to things like materials on site, use of contingency. Um, I think they're all fair questions. And I think the way we operate is that we, we talk to clients. We are regularly in front of clients. We go out to site with them. We want to be within the, you know, in that transaction from that first site visit right through to when it's built and, and we get repaid and we're hopefully we do something again. So communication is key from our perspective. I think, I think really, again, it's price, leverage. Um, when's a celebratory lunch when we've done the deal? <laughs> um, I think more so now from brokers, um, we're getting asked questions about who we are um, our ownership, our capital position, um, how we're funded. And I think that's really important. I think that shows that brokers and borrowers are actually not necessarily going for highest leverage, lowest price. They're thinking about who the lender is and the type of lender they and their client wants to work with. I think that's important. So look, you know, we're, we're, most things we feel like we can work around. There's always a way through challenges and problems and Property, it's a challenging industry. It's not easy. That's why you know it's it's difficult. Um, I suppose a, a red flag for us would be lack of honesty, lack of transparency. So you know if there's something that's gone on in the past, it's much better if we just know about it up front. And if we know about it, we can try and we can try and find a way around it. The worst thing is us finding out without having been told. And you know, listen, these these situations are few and far between. So we're not seeing that red red flag very often, but. That would be my call out. Absolutely paramount. Um, that's ultimately our chance to present the deal, present the client, sell both of them, justify why we want to do the transaction. If we if we submit a, a well positioned, concise, accurate report, that's going to get the best outcome for the client in the the best possible time frame. Certain transactions are more complex, take a bit more time, um, but again, that comes down to the quality of the application and the information that's in it. I firmly believe we've got one of the very best teams in the market when it comes to development finance, and that's right from the top of the business um, all the way down. We're, there's lots of people in the business that are relatively new to HTB, but I see that as a strength because we're all pulling in the right direction. We've got a clear plan. We've got a plan for growth. Um, we want to retain our existing client base, but we're looking at winning new clients. Um, we're flexible, we're innovative, we're very much relationship driven. Um, we have a boots on the ground approach to business. So all of our lending directors are based on their on their patches spread all across the country. So we can get out to sites very quickly. We can meet borrowers very early on in the process and we stay close to them through the whole process. You know, it, it's not a case of the deal gets written and we just look for the next deal. We want that borrower to become a long established client of HTB. That's how we're going to grow the balance sheet and that's how we're going to retain customers. Um, and we kind of hope that brokers feel that as well as, as clients. And we, we, we hope we want to be one of the go-to lenders for brokers and you know, we're on that journey and you know, we will get there. Brickflow is having a real positive impact on the, on the industry. Um, simplicity, transparency and uncertainty as well I think you know, it's really important and they're, they're things that us at HTB are very keen on and it's you know it's great that 
that Brickflow are, are operating as they do and looking to try and um, bring positive change to the sector, which I think is needed. And hopefully HDB will be a key partner for Brickflow going forward.